Welcome again everyone to another Treasures for Life ministry video and we are continuing on our herbal simple remedies demonstrations things that you can do they are so easy that even a child can do it so we're going to be doing a salt glue and you will need ordinary salt as well as Epsom salt and so we're going to be pouring the salt into the container this is four ounces of ordinary salt and I'm going to be pouring four ounces of the Epsom salt into my bottle here and I'm going to be pouring them both together then I will be mixing this together. So we're going to be mixing. So let me take it a little closer to me. Let me remove this here. Remove this out the way. So we're going to be mixing both of them together. Then we're going to be pouring some water and stir. You don't want it soggy where the whole salt is dissolved, but you want it wet enough so that when you use it, you will get some friction on the skin. And when you do a salt glow, it helps to remove dead cells. It purifies and cleanses the skin. It also works to help in circulation, to help those who are either suffering from diabetes to, to help to lower the glucose level. It has a relaxing feeling on the body as well. And the thing is, after you have done a salt glow, you will use, you will wash the skin off, sorry. So you'll bathe yourself and then dry yourself properly and then you will add rub the skin with some olive oil and relax for at least half hour or if you want to sleep you sleep and this allows your immune system to be kicked in to stimulate your immune system to do the work of revitalizing or repairing things like that however it is not wise to do a salt glow with those who are suffering from acute disease. Acute diseases are those that suddenly come upon you, so it's not recommended for acute diseases. But it's okay to do a salt glow for chronic diseases like those inherited diseases, as they say, as they claim. But you know, most of the diseases are dietary and uh, if your parents live a certain way and you continue, then you will inherit it in that respect. So chronic disease are like hypertension, diabetes, things like that. So see we have it. It's clummy and then you use it and just rub the skin massage. And you do it all over the body with the exception of the private parts or... If you don't mind getting burnt down there, that choice is yours. But I strongly advise against using it on your private areas. So remember, all you do is the person will wet your skin and then just rub all over. And you can do it yourself in the bathroom as well. Just take a container with the salt and your massage your body then you wash off dry your skin and then use the olive oil and rest simple to do and simple to try on your loved ones All right. another remedy that you can do is the baking soda wrap and the baking soda you will need depends depending on the area of the body which you are desiring to do treatment on 
you will need anywhere from quarter pound, half pound, two pound of baking soda. So for instance, if a person is suffering from respiratory issues, you can just use like a half pound of the baking soda with about an ounce of lemon juice. If you're doing a larger air, you'll need about two pounds to one third cup of lemon juice. And all you need is the baking soda, the lemon juice, not necessarily this brand, just a good lemon juice. Or if you have the lemons in abundance, you can squeeze it and get the juice from it. And hot water. So you will boil the water, have the water in a container ready to pour out when you need it. So you pour the baking soda into a big enough basin and then you add some of the hot water. Then you pour some of the baking soda and you add the rest of the water. And then you will place a towel inside the baking soda container, the container that, that has the baking soda, water, and the lemon juice. And say, for instance, this is a towel, you're going to fold it this way. Keep the ends out if you do not have the heavy duty gloves, which will be of benefit to prevent you from getting burned. And you place the middle section into the water the hot water like so say for instance this is it and leave the ends out and you just ring twist like this okay after you are finished then you will go over to the person you are helping by having an ear already prepared that would have a few sheets laying on it and also a big plastic it could be a big garbage bag or a few garbage bags spread out on the air to prevent your bedding from getting wet or your bed and also are also a plastic shower curtain and the person after you lay this warm towel on the bed over the plastic then you will allow the person to lay on it and then you wrap them if you want to see further demonstration on the baking soda wrap, you can visit our YouTube page and look for simple baking soda wrap and you will see how it's done. So baking soda wrap is very good for respiratory diseases. It's helpful for cancer. It's helpful for pain, for persons who have issues sleeping. Um, agitated because it works to calm your nerves it alkalines the body it it just relaxes you and it also allows your skin to feel very nice so that's another remedy that you can do so here we have a cabbage and cabbage is a very good vegetable to have to do numerous healing remedies and you can peel off the leaves of the cabbage wool or cut them as well I am cutting this cabbage here I cut it because it's easier to handle this way and I'm going to cut out this middle section right here because this can be used for many diseases it can be used to shrink tumors to take swelling down to improve circulation to help with pain it is a good um, vegetable to use for remedies so as i've said before persons can use a hole and just peel off the leaves but i rather to take to cut it in half so that it will be easier for me to pull the leaves off all right so you will use more than one cabbage leaves per air so if you are putting it on your knees you will pack at least two leaves okay so i'm just going to peel off just a few here and i'm going to show you, you can do this two way you can use the cabbage as it is or you can warm the leaves 
but they work just as well. So I'm going to be pounding the leaves. beaten it and if you wish you could beat it some more and then I'm going to be putting it on a piece of napkin and then I will use a cling wrap and as I've mentioned before if you don't have cling wrap then you can use plastic if you have the pound bags, you just cut them open and use. So you can warm the leaves and use it or use just as it is. So here you go. So for instance, a person has a pain on their knees or on their hands and they are swelling. You just, let me put it here. You just put it here and then you're going to use a plastic to wrap it to secure it and then you're going to wrap it some more. I'm, I'm short staffed <laughs> so I am just going to do it on myself. Thank you very much. And then we are going to even use a more of the cling wrap to keep it in place so we can. Thank you very much, my dear. And this is the reason why we need more persons to do this great work, this medical missionary work. So there you have it. And you keep this on for a few hours and change afterwards. All right? Simple, easy, cheesy. So next we are going to be doing Irish potato poultice. And the Irish potato poultice is good for pain. It's good for using as a poultice for cancer tumors you can combine it with a turmeric charcoal bentonite clay grated carrots aloe vera single bible and use it as a poultice to be placed on tumors swellings inflammations things like that now it can be used for prostate issue and all you need to do is to grate the carrots the sorry the Irish potato and so you grate. And I'm only going to be grating a piece of it because of time. So I've washed it before and now I'm just grating. And the Irish potato can be a little on the wet side. So you have to be careful that the, you use the plastic after you have placed it into the napkin and you place it on the area covered well with the plastic so that it does not drip because it is very difficult to get Irish potato stains out of clothes or even your towel. And uh, Irish potato poultice can also be placed into, that's it, I won't be grating anymore, can be placed into the napkin here 
and even placed over the eyes as a soother for eye issue to help with some eye issues all right so I'm going to be folding this placing the Irish potato here and you know you'll grate more but but time consuming prevention we are only doing just a little and as you can look at it see how wet it is and you just place it on the area that you wish you have a prostate and large prostate you just grate it enough to be placed on the area and spread it out fold it into the paper towel or a cotton material and then you leave it on the area cover with plastic and cover with a garment that you don't you won't be afraid to lose because it may stain your clothing or your bedding all right so there you have another simple remedy that you can do the irish potato cancer prostate cancer ordinary cancers you can use it by itself or a combination it's good for swelling for, for skin irritation things like that so here we have a little french clay and we are going to be adding this french clay to some water it's about six ounces of water roughly and it's about a teaspoon to a tablespoon the more water the better and you will drink this once per day for 10 days to give your body minerals as well as to clean out in the process because the French clay not only removes toxins and other free radicals from the body but it also works to give your body minerals as well and it's good for the stomach and many other issues drinking i'm drinking my clay water all right so next we are going to be doing a castor oil and some may call it a castor oil pack and it is simple to do all you need to do is just pour some castor oil into a container and if you have cotton material or gauze things of that nature or even a small rag you can place it into this um, container with the container with the castor oil and just squeeze out the excess allow it to saturate or soak through whatever material you place in it and then you are going to put as I said to soak through whatever material you are going to place on the area so I'm putting this triangle advantage that I have into the container with the castor oil and I'm going to allow it to soak through for a few minutes and while this is being soaked through or let me see if I can speed it speed up the process by kneading <laughs> Mm -hmm. Alright, so there you have it. Then you're going to squeeze out the excess oil. And then 
you're going to place this castor oil rub or towel. Let me get some of the excess castor oil off my hands. And you will be placing this over whichever area you wish. But for now, it will be over the liver area, which is located under the breast. Can't put it on my clothes because I don't want to ruin my clothes. And the liver area is located a little below the breast on the right side of your body. And you put heat. You, heat, you can use a heating pad. I have an electrical heating pad here. And uh, you can use that, or you can use a towel that you have warmed in with into some hot water. You squeeze all the excess water, fold it into another towel, and then place it over the area. Or if you have a microwave, you can use the microwave by just simply damping a towel and uh, placing that towel into a plastic bag and then put it at whatever time setting whether it is 30 seconds a minute or two it depends on the strength of your microwave and after you do that then you just let me show you you get this out so what you do now, you're going to get a cling wrap or a plastic and you place the cloth that you have put the castor oil on and you place it over on the right side here or on the tummy wherever it may be and you just apply the heat. And you do this if it's over the liver area for 45 minutes to an hour to simply detox the liver. Easy cheesy. However, if you're doing it for other areas, you may need a longer time or a shorter time. It depends on the ailment. For this as well, you can use a little DNS oil because this is also good for fibroids where you can use the castor oil pack where you use it as is and place over the tummy area where the fibers are located and just put it there and apply the heat and you keep that for a few hours. Now DNSO oil can be added to it. Two ways you can do it, especially for fibroids. You can just use the castor oil mixed with a little DNSO oil and you rub the area and then you apply the heat or you soak just as if just as is and add a little DNSO oil to a little castor oil and just do it as a base and then you place this on it and you keep it on for a few hours with the heat sometimes you may even allow the heat to be on it for one hour and then you can remove the heat but just keep the castor oil pack that you have made on it for at least a few hours for things like fibroids or other cysts and things like that. And remember, diet is a very important part of the healing process and God wants us to be prosperous in health even as our soul prospered. So we must have and maintain a relationship with God because it is God who heals us. Thank you again for watching another video from the Treasures for Life ministry. We hope that you are blessed and that you have learned something. Please look out for other videos, so please subscribe and be blessed. Maranatha, Jesus is coming soon.